seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team back. Hi everyone, sorry for taking the time here for a second, just wanted to make sure that everything looks fine since I didn't get to cast on my channel for um, for a few days. So we got Sharks versus MYRM. I'm not going to try and say their name again, I'm sorry, I forgot to check how I'm supposed to pronounce it. So I'm going to give that up for now. Um, it's a lower bracket round one for JDL Division 1-2 playoffs. Um, I did add the bracket details if you want to check that out. So that's going to be interesting, and I mean, this is an interesting open for Shucks. I, I cast a lot of their games. I don't believe I've ever seen them pick Wisp. Um, they are playing with a different standing this time, so Wingblade, I don't know who that is. Um, so maybe he's a Whispler or something like that, but MYRM are going for a really strong opening here with the Void and the Marana. So Void obviously provides that control. Marana with early roaming. Could be a 4, it could be a mid maybe. But still, it's something that gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, both the Void and the Marana are heroes that can play in multiple lanes. Um, I think I've seen even a mid Void a few days ago in one of the games I casted. So pretty much anything can happen here with these heroes. And it just allows them to react better to the Sharks draft. Um, to be fair, Sharks not really revealing anything just yet. Uh, going for the Wisp and the Batrider. So two heroes that, again, are very flexible. Yes, the Wisp is going to be that four position. But it doesn't tell much about the draft. You can figure out that they're going to go for a hero that might be good with Wisp. Um... There's still the Jow in the pool. It's not your natural Wisp partner, but still the overcharge, getting that extra movement speed, um, extra attack speed could be great on Jow. So, and I don't know, every time I see that Jow still in the pool, you you have to keep that in mind. They do play a lot of different heroes. Um, they have something worth mentioning is maybe the OD mid. Pretty nice against the Void. You just take that int away and he is not going to be very happy. Same for the Marana. Um, also, I guess that now that I'm thinking about it, um, I'm talking about the OD just because I know that it's a hero that sharks often pick. And they're going to ban the Tiny. Okay, that's a weird ban. But um, if someone gets arrowed and they're 5 seconds arrow arrowed or getting chronoed, you always have that Astral to just use defensively. So that could definitely work out for them uh, this game. I mean, and I know that they love to run it. So it could definitely be the case. And before Pugna, uh, it could happen. It could happen. And again, like I, I know a few things about about their picks, so it, it's a bit easier for me when it comes to sharks. Uh, but last ban here, I'm thinking maybe something like an Invoker, assuming the Marana is going to be four, something that can deal the damage into the Chrono. I mean, Marana can do some damage into Chrono, especially with Ags, but. Usually one, at least one hero that can help out the Void if he gets a really good Chrono. Uh, there's no ET. No, that's still first ban material. No one is really letting that hero through. And we haven't seen a lot of Timber. It's a bit surprising. It feels like he was really popular and then suddenly something happened. Um, I guess reactive armor got changed. I don't think it was a huge change. But teams are kind of drifting away from picking up the Timber. It is still very good with the Void. Tons of follow-up damage. Um, there is a decent amount of magic on Sharks. But not a lot of control when you go with that 4 position Wisp. Um, so you only have the Lasso currently. Maybe even think about banning a Slark here. Um, it could also be the case. But they're actually going to take out the Tinker. Um, kind of leads me to believe that it might be a bat mid. I don't think they play a mid. I'm... I'm like 90% sure that it's going to be an offlane Batrider. But uh, MRM going for the Ogre. So a solid, solid pick. It's pretty strong. Um, I 
I think it might mean that the Marana is going to be mid. I feel like it, it might be a bit better with the draft. The Ogre can run around, he can roam, he can harass the mid laner. Um, not as much if it's going to be... Okay, it is going to be the Batrider. So the Dark's here for the offlane. It's, uh, he's going to be, I feel like, completely okay in that lane. It's going to be like Ogre plus maybe another support and either the Void or another one. But I'm actually really feeling the Slark here for MYRM. Uh, maybe it's a bait from Sharks. I don't know, but... Currently, they, they just don't have control at all other than Lasso. And if you get your timing right with Dark Pact, you can easily purge off that Lasso. And I think I, I'm fully sold on this Lark. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, maybe even a Jug that can work as well. I'm thinking about heroes that can maybe not dodge that Lasso like Slark can. But even Jug, if you get the spin in time... Just gonna be easier and they're actually gonna go with the venge so maybe a bit of a deny pick here for them wanting to make sure that shark's not gonna be able to grab that void i'm curious to see where they're going with this draft i do really feel like they need some hard disables um with marana running around with a void it could still be the drow it's not an easy drow game by any means though but it does really feel like they need some sort of disable because I don't know how they're going to catch this void out right now. Uh, they have some damage over time. Yeah, not nukes. So time walk is not going to be as amazing. But still, it feels a bit lacking when it comes to disables on Shark's side right now. Um, I, I did mention the OD, but seeing the Darkseer, I believe it's going to be a Batrider mid. So maybe going for another support that can provide those lockdowns. It could be maybe a lion. Um, that's a decent option. It could also be witch doctor just to provide some damage into the chrono. So if void goes for it, you get a good position to place that death ward down and maybe um, do something there. If you're going to start off with, a, well, Sven Darkseer, it's a known combo. It's pretty good with Wisp. The only problem is that usually you kind of don't want to go for a BKB when you're playing with that Wisp combo. So, it's going to be difficult, but because it is a really good BKB game here um, for Sven. Most of their damage is going to be magical, even the Void Bash, for example. Um, but Mirana, Ogre, Venge, they mostly provide some physical damage. Venge has that aura, so the damage is going to be higher. It could even be a morphling here for MYRM. I'm really curious to see what sharks are going to go for here with the fifth ban. But it's the most terrifying one. But May I have a feeling that they might run like a four position bat rider here and go for a super greedy draft. I'm actually, I think that might happen. Um, I don't know if I'm stepping way out here. But. I don't know. I feel like they're going to do something weird. This is too normal for sharks. Um, so, MRM, they... Okay, they're going to ban out the lion, as I mentioned. Uh, here, that gives that extra control. And just... They really need it. They could go for maybe a shaman, if it's still support that they're going to pick up. And it wasn't going to be... I feel like it, they should ban either Slark um, or Morphling. I think those are the two that are going to cause most problems um it is a nice that okay it's gonna be the jug i mean i've mentioned jug i told you they're gonna do something weird please tell me this is a mid jack hero <laughs> please I, I don't think so i don't think so but i mean i i believe in their weird drafts um so let's see if i was right um my reasoning is pretty much the same i think morphling is great here they don't have any silences. He can morph strength through everything, pretty much. They have decent mid game. They have good late game with the Morphling. I, I actually really feel like that uh, Morphling could work pretty well for them. If they run it. I don't know if uh, if it's a hero that they feel super comfortable with. And also, it could be a safe lane void. And then it means that they're missing some sort of off laner here. But I do really like the idea of sort of an elusive one position. A hero that's not going to get caught that easily. Lark and Morphling really fit that. Okay, it is gonna be. I know I talked about it a lot, but come on. That was, um, I, I actually think that that was probably their best option. No, it's not a mid here. Okay. 
I'm a bit disappointed. Um, I like the Jakiro because it's a really long range disable. It's not amazing here. It is going to be really good with the Chrono and going to give some control during team fights. The only thing I feel like might be a problem is that by the looks of the draft, it looks like MYRM, they have good ways of just picking off someone and killing him. Uh, whether it's with Magic Missile, into Arrow, into a couple of Star Storms, that's an insane amount of damage. And for Sharks, other than the Sven, all their damage is kind of like damage over time. So, if the fights are going to drag out and going to get a lot of sticky napalms, everything like that, that's going to be great. But if they get picked off at the beginning of the fight and they manage to take off one of the cores, I think it's going to be really difficult for them to, to take really good team fights. Um, I hope this is not too loud. It feels like it's really loud on my end. Um, I'm not... I'm not really sure why, so just hoping that it doesn't sound that bad on stream. Are they gonna run a, an aggressive trial lane here? Or aggressive dueling? Because Wingblade on the Sven, he's walking towards the offing. Yeah, okay. I guess this is gonna be an aggressive dueling. Ben Jakiro. That's not something you get to see often, but... First movement here from MYM, they know they have a pretty strong level 1, they're gonna go right on the poor Wisp. I mean, there's not much they can do. The good thing is that it does mean that the Ogre is, um... He scaled Fire Blast level 1, so it's not the best level 1 spell. And without Ignite, it's gonna, not gonna be as easy to harass the mid laner or, or any other lanes that you want to run to. Uh, extra slow and a good amount of damage from Ignite is really significant. But I think it might hurt their first couple of minutes. And they know this ogre can't do can't do much at this point. Um MYRM they should realize that how the lanes are gonna look like. Oh ogre being aggressive. Okay, he is gonna grab that bounty room. The question is, is he gonna pay with his life? He's rather tanky. He's gonna go for the Roche. Trying to go for the deny. The question is, is it gonna work out? He's trying to bait them to do the damage. Roche is working on it, but it's not gonna work out. Sven, Wingblade, he's gonna get that last by click in. So let's talk about the lanes a little bit. Uh, so on Shark's side, we're gonna have Dale actually on the top lane with the Dark Seer. So just soloing against Massacring on the Void, that should be a pretty good lane for both, I wanna say. Um, Iron Shell is going to be a bit annoying for Massacre just because it's not something you can time walk off. So it's definitely not going to be easy. Uh, mid lane, we're going to have Slash Strike on his Batrider and Celery playing the Wisp. And on the other side, Master Risk on the Ogre. Okay, he's a standing as well. And Valak playing the Marana. And the weird lane, um, <laughs> that's going to be Wingblade on the Sven, Sunny on the Jakiro. Uh, going up against Avenge and a Morphling, they're actually going aggressive on Senny. They are going to get a double stun here from Wingblade, doing a lot of damage. Morphling can start morphing into strength, but he's going to be okay. He has a south, but that is a lot of pressure. And with maybe a level in Warcry, it's going to be pretty difficult to kill off this lane. Lane, Valak is not having a really good time here. I forgot to open the thing, guys. Apologies. Or Sticky Napalms, you need to be really careful in this lane. He does have leap level 2 here, so if he gets into too much trouble... He can always leap away. But... It's a bit scary. Um, top lane, both using all their regen pretty much. And now they're forced into bringing the Ogre here. Again, he's still level 1, so that level 1 Fire Blast is kind of coming back to bite him in the ass. So. They got a kill thanks to it. I'm not... 100% sold that they actually needed Fire Blast there. I think they could have gotten the kill anyways. I mean, it's a Wisp. He doesn't have any armor. It's not that crazy. Benny, unfortunately, gonna get stunned up. He's still gonna make it to get the Bounty Rune. But he's taking a lot of damage. The slows are there. He's level 2, but he doesn't have that Ice Bath. And uh, getting punched down by the two supports. And right now, I don't know if this lane is gonna... This aggressive lane is gonna work out for them. Sven is farming okay. Um, sitting on 7 assets. Ujana is morphing on 8 and 4, so they're pretty even. 
but I feel like it's safer to just let this event go top and farm. Oh, he actually just bought a TP. Um, okay. I swear I didn't notice that. I think they might swap because now when it's a tri lane from MOERM, yes, you're creating a lot of space for Slash in the mid lane. Just to, to get that money up, he has the Wisp helping him. The Ogre is not going to rotate anymore. Not when there's the Jahiro Sven down here. But I think you're better off... Yeah, he's actually TP. <laughs> you're better off with just making sure that you're going to get the, the burst of... Okay. Solo kill. I apologize, guys. Flashlight, though, tanking the tower hits. Fairyfire is going to save him for a little while. And Windlace and being able to fly over the cliff. So he is going to be completely okay. I was too concentrated on the on the TPing, uh, TPing Sven. Uh, but anyways, I, I like that decision. It's gonna make that you're gonna get easy farm on him. Void can't do much against that lane, and they really need that opening. I mean, their mid lane is pretty much secured with the Wisp, so they know the mid lane is gonna go okay. They're still a bit behind when it comes to asset in pretty much all lanes. A lot of it is uh, swapping up lanes. Valk again, Think tanking a lot of sticky napalms, he's going aggressive on the west, Celery is going to get hit by the arrow and that's going to be him going down. Unfortunately Valk, I don't think he thought that one through because I'm pretty sure that Slash is happy with that trade. <laughs> Grabbing, losing his wisp but getting another solo kill in the mid laner. Bottom lane, Dale is fighting it out with the Morphling. Morphling not having a great time here now actually. Dale is putting more pressure than the dual lane I feel like. Done on Massacre. I don't think they can kill him. Maybe when they have Ice Path and God Strength. Before that, I don't think they just don't have the burst uh, to kill him during the disables. So he should pretty much always be able to get the time walk away. I know with an Invis rune, I mean, they're thinking about it. They have the Ogre rotating in here as well. Maybe if they can disable him for long enough, he does have Surge. The first one is gonna kick in. Oh, the first damage is real. They waited for the Surge. Just the Fire Blast to make sure that he can't go for the for the runaway play. Good movement. Massacre is still having a really good time here. Top CS, 21 and 7. And now when the aggressive dual lane left, that's what I was talking about. They are free to move around. So first smoke, I believe, or second after that. Um, level 1 smoke, they're gonna run in, they're gonna see Slash right there, are gonna get this down on him, not taking a lot of damage though, raindrops are doing the work for him. He's trying to go for the Wisp coming in, trying to heal him up, they might get the return kill on the Mirana, they're actually gonna get it, and Miner in a lot of trouble, Slash, he might get a double here, Miner gonna go down, that's a dominating. They have Lasso here, if he wants to go on it, the tower is gonna get tanked up, but I don't think they care, the Ogre getting chased into the fire, Celery is gonna be the one grabbing that one, but it doesn't matter. That is, I, I I think that was the definition of a failed gank. You need to be really careful when uh, going on a bat rider like that. And I believe that when they went in, there were already a couple of napalm stacks on the Marana. So it just makes it easier to kill off the Marana fast and then go back and start going on the rest of the heroes that came in for that. Oh, He might not have a lot of last hits, but... I feel like the Bat Rider is in a really good place, and well, oh, MRM going on the aggressive again. Another smoke, this time on the top lane. You're looking at the Sven, they're pretty low levels. They are gonna have eyes on. Okay, they're gonna go for the Chrono actually. Sven caught in there as well. Maybe they can get something more. Warcry is doing some work. Finally, your hero is gonna burn out. I feel like they wanted the Sven, but that was kind of the easier kill. They didn't want to risk it. They didn't want to use Chrono and hope that they're gonna kill this man because he's not the easiest kill here it does look like valak uh, realized that this lane is uh is dangerous so he's trying to play it safer when he gets two sticky napalm on him he just backs off really fearing the damage potential and the stacks gaming is gonna start now. These are a lot of stacks. Celery, what level is he? 
Level 4, I think he's gonna get 6 here, maybe even. Yeah, he should get 6 after they farm the median camp as well. Yeah, mud golems. Balls are doing the work. That's so, that's so early. Grabbing the level 6 on the wisp this early is gonna be huge for them. And the money, I mean... Last strike, sitting on drums, 600 gold as well. Really early relocates could be terrifying for MYRM. You just relocate in with the Batrider even, fence set up with a stun, you relocate in, and you should pretty much be able to kill anyone in that position. Yep, level 6, 8 minutes in. Bottle boots. I'm pretty happy Wisp over here. No one no one has a lot of assets in this game to be fair. A lot of kills though. I mean 12 kills, 8 minutes in. <laughs> What's up with the this what <laughs> this is actually raindrop gaming i th i think this is the first time i've seen someone with uh <laughs> with the two raindrops that's a thing i guess an interesting valak in a lot of trouble the flame break into lasso beautifully done valak couldn't go down and nothing he can do about it i mean they don't have really good defensive supports so they could tp in the venge but what is he gonna do about it that was such a, such a great initiation who needs a blink and just uh, push them back, grab the lasso. And he's getting punched down a little bit. Still not skilling Ice Bath, I think. I guess they realize that they don't have much kill potential here anyway. Um, so they might as well go for the damage and just harass Massacre as much as they can. Because I think this void is going to be pretty important for MYRM. Chrono is a, Chrono or aggressive swap or offensive swap rather are their best options for initiation. I don't think you want to jump in with a morphling. Not not yet. Not at this point. And so far, I mean, he's sitting on a perseverance. He has the Akilla going for probably the Lincolns here. You want to go aggressive on Dale, but it is a rotation coming in. That's gonna be Slash and the Wisp coming in. Maybe thinking about grabbing that Morphling. It's definitely not gonna be an easy kill. Here's Surged up, looking for hit. There is the waveform available though, so this is definitely not gonna be easy. EPN is coming in as well, so might be the end of it. Oh, that's a lot of heroes. Murano ult here. They do have the Chrono. If they can find the opening Celery, they're gonna have eyes on him. He's gonna tell away, relocate out. Oh, they almost baited out the Chrono. I think that was pretty close. They are gonna wait for, for the poor Celery here. Yeah, there are creeps. Maybe he's gonna get the tether away. He's trying to go for it. Fire Blast blocking him in place. Massacre waiting for him. They know where he's gonna go. He's actually doing a lot of damage to Massacre though. He... Wait. Wait. Okay, am I... Are you kidding me? He actually did it? Okay. Um, top tower is under attack. what? Okay, I think I'm losing my mind. Uh, can I have a replay? Can I have like production? Is that a thing? I'm, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, I'm still really confused. I, I'll have to look at the replay. Um, this is the, the problem with solo casting. It's a bit hard sometimes to realize what happened. That was pretty weird though. He got the TP out, I'm sure of that, but how? I actually don't know what happened. Um Maybe he TP'd like mid tether? Is that is that a thing? Okay. I'm I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at uh, the replay later or ask what well, well, what the hell just happened because that looked pretty impressive i mean they committed so much they waited for him and they ended up not getting anything out of it blade 
get a triple here. He's going for the Echo Saber first, so not feeling that he needs that Blink Dagger. They do have Surge, they do have the Wisp for some extra movement speed. So I kind of like this choice, though, so, okay. Rip. Hot plane. That was, yeah, that was a relocate in. So they found the Venge. This is not trying. Oh, they're waiting for Celery. They're actually going to commit the Chrono for him. They're pretty upset about this Wisp causing so much trouble. It is kind of hard to kill him. And now the Sven is going to join here. He doesn't have the God Strength, though. Celery is still alive. I mean, this Wisp is causing so many problems for them. Master Risk for Sticky Napalm. He's mega slow. That's going to be an unstoppable streak for Slash. He's still going to chase forward. Flame Break going to push Massacre away. They don't really have the control for him now, though. Uh, he, he, he survived that. Like, that's... They committed Chrono. They are that upset about that Wisp, and... I feel like, for now, MRM, they need to just... Try and get the farm up on the Morphling. It's pretty difficult when you're always afraid of that relocate in. But, just try and dodge them. Try and get the farm up on the Morphling. There's not even the Vlads yet on the Void, so they don't really have their initial core items. While this Bat Rider has drums, blink, 500 gold, the Sven, he's gonna have the Echo Saber now, I think. I think the Echo Saber is coming. Um, so. Uh, it's not coming. It's gonna be here in a second. So they definitely have their core items. They're getting the towers, they're taking now the bottom. Power. They're trying to go for the trade. Uh, I think it's an okay play. The problem is that I feel like they'll rotate in. They won't let them get that tower that easily. And even the top lane, the tower is rather healthy. A thousand gold. That's it. Yeah, pit lord happened. I'm, I'm sure that <laughs> I'm sure that's the play. At least Balzes is finally going to grab that ulti orb now. So th that, that's going to be a start. At least having the Lincolns up. But the early rush, 14 minutes in. I got to talk about it uh, a few times actually about the early rush attempts. That sometimes they can definitely backfire. But it feels like Sharks, they, they know they have the upper hand here. I mean, they're sitting at 7,500 gold lead, about 4k in experience. They're definitely having the better game. And they, they, they believe in their Wisp, I think. I mean, he still has the regen. So they could even go straight up for a fight if they want to do it. Um, I'll have about 50 seconds on that regen before it goes off. But I don't know. I mean, this is looking not very good for MORM. I just... They have the magic damage. They do need a couple of items though. And with Marana going for a bottle and an Aquila, it's gonna take some time. Slash Strike looking for initiation here. He's gonna have eyes on the morphing. I don't know if that's the easiest skill. He's gonna start morphing that strength, but he's gonna get locked down in place. I mean, they're working on it. He's losing his armor. That's the worst problem, but he had a replicate back. He is gonna survive this one, barely. Um, it was pretty close. This is what's dangerous. If they get the time to to put the money on that Morphling, he's going to be really difficult to deal with. Echo Saber and Aegis on this vendor still trying to get the trade, but Wingblade is just going to TP top. They know that they can take this tower easily, even without him, and there's pretty much no chance that MYRM are going to try and contest it. I just don't know how they're going to buy the time. I mean, the Lincoln's going to be there soon. That's going to make it more difficult to kill him off. But soon on the bat rider, he could go for maybe a Yule's four staff. Like It's probably going to be the four staff first. I'll buy anything. That's why I'm a bit um, confused. And then you're going to have that way of breaking the Lincoln's anyway. Other than that, they don't have a lot of easy ways to, to pop the Lincoln's. So I feel like he definitely should go for something that's going to help him out in that regard, Valak. 
He has a double damage for half duration. Minor, he's gonna get eyes on Dale. They're going in though. I don't know if they actually wanna try and go for this one. Valak, he's gonna get swapped out. Beautifully paid by the bench. So Valak is gonna be able to survive for now. Wingblade getting control on the back lines. Morphing trying to do the damage. They are gonna finally find this Celery Wisp. And Valazes though, he's in a pretty bad position here. He's gonna start morphing. He does have a replicate. He's gonna replicate back. But Wingblade is waiting for him. Wait for him away. He's pretty. Oh no, he's completely out of mana. He's actually gonna dodge that stun. They didn't have the vision thanks to the Mirana ult. Another sentry is gonna get dropped. They really want to get this morphling. They are gonna get him at the end. So celery for for the morphling. He managed to buy his Lincolns just before Balash. Okay, guys, it's pronounced Balash. I'm sorry. My my Hungarian, they're Hungarian, right? No. <laughs> it's not it's not top notch. Try my hardest. And if you look at the net worth, it's just it's just Sharks game for now. Blink dagger up on the Sven, uh, four staff complete as well, so nothing not going for anything funky. Wisp is trying to build up into believe that's gonna be a mech and even a Velf was any they have so much magical damage that it's gonna be amazing I mean they're just gonna push high ground at this point they know that MYRM game plan right now is to try and stall and if they manage to not let them stall just slowly go with Sven. I think the Aegis is about to expire. I don't want to check it yet. I don't want to miss anything. Um, they're not contesting it. Morphling? He has a TP. Um, he's pushing top. They already lost half the HP there. Uh, we have... Yeah, okay. We have a minute on the Aegis. Another stun. I don't think they care that much though. Celery, he can heal up. He has the bottle charges. He has another urn charge too. So, just committing the god string. Morphling is still not here. He is killing the top tower, but they are going to lose their base if they don't do anything rather quickly. The glyph already used. Batrider jumping in, trying to get a grab here on Massacre. Gonna use the time dilation. Wingblade still working on those buildings. Finally, Morphling is gonna come back. They are gonna get the Chrono on the back lines. That's gonna be on too. Slash like though, he's out of it. He's gonna do the damage. They did lose the Aegis, and now with the immediate swap, they're not gonna do that much. But the vacuum wall, it's gonna be on three. They're having a really good fight. I'm sorry that I uh, didn't think it's gonna happen, but that vacuum wall just secured everything. I mean, Radiant, they thought they could get away with uh, just popping that Aegis and backing off, but the vacuum wall just catching them. And bringing them back, making sure that they're going to get the two kills on the supports. And this is going to be, I think, the second lane. I mean, now without a chrono, that was their chrono. They used the swap to break the lasso. They just don't quite have the items to fight this. They have the ads now on the Marana, so that is a start. But it feels like it's too little too late at this point. I mean, Massacre is... He's punching the Sven, you know. Wisp is sitting back here. They don't have relocate. They do have a couple more urn charges and 11 and stick charges on him. Sunny taking a lot of damage. That Starstorm is going to clean him up at the end. Valish on the morphing. He's trying to get that Wisp, but he's actually a bit too scared. He's going to relocate back into the fountain. Dale is still alive. Mech is keeping them alive for now, but he is going to get cleaned up at the end. They have double mechs. Now that I, I realize that. Uh, arrow. Both sidestepped. They lost to the Sven is still alive, and they didn't finish the bottom max, but I just, I don't think it's a huge deal right now. I wonder why they went for two max. I just realized that. Yeah, Wait, does that work? I actually don't remember. I, I remember reading about it when Guardian Greaves first came out. And I don't remember if I I feel like it shouldn't stack, but it might. That's that's my conclusion. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Forward. So they they still have the upper hand here. 
as I said, the items are starting to come in for someone corrected me again, so it is pronounced Merm. Merm? Oh god, this is a disaster to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's a 12k lead, 3.5k in experience. They're going back for the push bottom lane. They don't have this Sven with them here. Um, they are sitting in mid lane. They're okay, we'll pick it out. They could relocate there if they want to. I think they'll probably just uh, make their way down to the bottom lane. Chrono is available again. They have, again, the Murano with the Aghanims. Then he is just doing Jakiro thing. <laughs> Getting surged up. They really like their sieging lineups, you know? Just a way to siege more easily. <laughs> I don't think that does anything to the Rex. Um, they just look really cool, though. That's like the only thing it does. I like the way they're playing it. They're playing it pretty patiently. This wing blade on the high ground. No Aegis this time, but they do have the IO sitting behind, just making sure that Sven is gonna be okay. Wing blade gonna get stunned up. Follow up adaptive, adaptive strike to the corner is gonna be on celery. They wanna focus him down. He can't really kill him though, he has so much armor at this point, now Wingblade with the God Strength, looking for initiation, he's gonna get this double hit here on the poor Vengeful, she's gonna go down, Slash chasing after Valak on the Marana, that's gonna be him down for 50 seconds, he does not have a buyback, so I feel like this might be where the game ends, okay, they, uh, wait, uh, uh, that was a bit uh, aggressive, so, they are gonna lose their Bat Rider, but second lane of Rax is down now, got so much money for that back kill. Eleven hundred gold. Wait, is this such a short respawn timer? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're just gonna be up in like two seconds here. So it could easily just walk in. Yeah. That's such a short respawn timer. Um, so it's gonna be up, they're gonna grab another Aegis probably. Chrono, yeah, low Chrono in for a minute, so there's no way they're gonna try and contest this one. I don't think so, at least, that's probably not gonna be the best call if they do decide to go for it. And they're already pushed in, the bottom lane is pushing in, there's not much they can do about it. I mean, they have the Morphling, he's a pretty good split pusher. But even then, it feels like with it, it's just not gonna do much. I mean, when they pushed that mid lane, Morphling was trying to go. Are they smoking? Wow, they don't realize that Rush is up. Okay. I mean, they they hoped to go for for an aggressive play here, and maybe catch someone farming, get a clean pick off, back off, maybe get some breathing room here, but. They didn't realize that it's Roche happening. I mean, their map control is lacking, to say the least. They only have this one Observer Ward here. And actually, talking about it, Morphling. Lincoln's gonna get broken. They are gonna get the grab on him. Where's his team? He doesn't have a Replicate. He's just gonna die here. He does have a buyback, but... I guess they didn't think that Sharks are going to make the movement towards their own jungle after cleaning the rush. Maybe they thought they're going to... Oh, they relocate! Okay. That, that was, uh, that was close. <laughs> oh, he's going to make the long way around. But... I, I just, I don't know how they defend this. Um... They need a really good Chrono, the Morphling, he doesn't have that much damage, he doesn't have the E-Blade or anything like that, just the Ghost Scepter, and well, they're gonna stun Wing Blade again, he doesn't really care, they're gonna get the stun on the Ogre, they wanna clean as many heroes as they can before this fight starts, the Cleave almost killing off Miner on the back, Valak going in on Celery again, he's so tanky though, it's just a Wisp, but Wing Blade blinking in, grabbing that Vengeful Spirit as well, no buybacks on the supports, Tier 3 Tower is going down rather quickly with that God Strength, it's gonna run out here, so Glyph is gonna help out with the lane, but the arrow flying not connecting. Top tower 
I mean, they have the morphing back up, but it feels like the only thing they can do here is maybe now go for the Chrono. It is going to be on too, but Slash Strike is going to get the grab on Valak, and without the Venge, there's no way they can break that lasso. So Valak is going to get cleaned up again. He doesn't have a buyback. Jumping forward on Massacre, and GG is going to get called. I mean... The problem is that even if they get that Chrono, 